Welcome to Battle Truth, in my point of view. I don't know you, so I'm not a hater. I can only give you the facts that's written on these papers. And since we have no dealing, therefore, the court can care the less about your feelings. I'm the Honorable Malachi Markilli, your presiding judge, chairman, and spokesperson for the One United Front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. Let's talk about it. So, Dear Me Detroit takes to the internet to ask people, what is this tournament that Surf coming out with called the Sue Surf Mayhem Tournament? Surf get wing of DME asking about his tournament. So he responds by telling DME Detroit to suck him off. SMD. Suck his penis. Banana, banana split himself. No. No. No, 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 no. You better than that, brother. You're supposed to be more professional than that. What's wrong with you, man? Why are you doing that? I'm disappointed in you on this. Do you know why I'm disappointed in you uh, per se on this, sir? You the one who got Rock doing this stuff. Y'all don't remember he had Rock doing this? Roll the footage. Y'all know I can't use none of that footage? But we definitely remember it. We definitely remember it. When you told him in the crowd, when you were rapping against Hitman Holler, and he was like, yeah, I understand what you mean. That B more dude, I don't like him neither. And Rock said, F you. And you said, F you suck my thing, neighborhood. And when you said that to him, he was so touched and so full of joy and love and felt appreciated. He began to start saying it all the time since then. You got that boy to doing that. You are a major influence on him. And he loved everything about you. He even had a, a suck his penis jargon suit made with the penis head hanging off of it. Like, like a nipple. Yeah. You was brought up on charges because of this. And because I'm the judge, you brought up on charges on here. I hold you in... I hold you in contempt of court. I hold you in contempt of court. I hold you in contempt of court. And I hold you in contempt of court for what you did, brother. I saw your tweet. You don't have to explain yourself. I saw it with my own eyes. So I hold you guilty of inviting another man to polish you off. No. No, 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 no. No, no, you out of line, brother. We not accepting that type of stuff. There will be order. As a man, you will conduct yourself as a man. There will be no homosexual, transgender, LGBTQ slander going on unless you are LGBTQ or homosexual, transgender. But if you consider yourself a man, this should be appalling to you no matter how much you feel this is your way of disrespecting a man to the highest degree to encourage or entice him to fight. So I'm going to invite him to suck me off and blow on my balls. No, we're not accepting that type of stuff. No, 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 unless you gay in real life. If you're not gay in real life, these shouldn't even be coming to your mind to even utter to another man at all in no type of way whatsoever it's not popular it's not cool it's not real it's not gangster it's not soldier it's not a trend we want to set in battle rap where this is cool and okay to say unless a person is actually really gay that actually indulges in these things who know this so because you claim to not be gay, to not be a homosexual, to not be a transgender, and you're not with that because you love vagina so much, I'm finding you guilty of such words coming to your mind and you uttering out against another man. Therefore, you will be fined a thousand dollars you are to immediately pay a thousand dollars to the battle truth court. Not only that, just so that 
since you say you straight and you don't do that, I'm also uh, 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 confining you over to a own private chamber, chained to a chair with your eyes crazy glued wide open to watch young buck gay porns. That's what you need to watch. So you can be so disgusted and vomit on your damn self to know not to never say these type of things since you ain't about these type of things. Maybe if you saw what two men do doing that stuff, it'll disgust you so bad you will never even think of saying something like this ever again. So you ought to pay a thousand dollars and immediately turn yourself over to do what what should we call this? Like <laughs> community community service. To watch three, four hours, six hours a young buck gay porn. Maybe you will stop saying that type of trash. But that's not cool, brother. Don't do that to other people. If you mad at a brother, I'm pretty sure you're more wiser to find a better way to address yourself. Maybe, yes. Look, look let me tell you, brother, something. Y'all got to stop being so sensitive when you... When you in the public eye like this, because it comes with the territory, get used to it, get used to it. You're going to come up against a lot of media scrutiny. Some good, some bad. Get used to it, brother. You can't just sit there and just think everybody going to like you. You're going to get all good press. No, that's not true. It's not going to happen. Get used to it, but put yourself in a position well, as you continue to reach the status of stardom, that you're able to conduct yourself in a professional manner, that these things don't affect you like that. Don't affect you like that. Now, with that being said, brother, I need like two tickets to that next battle, man. I don't care. I still got to do my job. I got to do my job. Now, we, I like you. You cool, little bro. I respect what you do. But you guilty, you out of pocket, and you bogus. I hope that don't stop you from giving me the two tickets to the luck show that you promised. That you promised. Because, see, it, it, it's kind of tricky, man. My situation tricky, man. Brothers be thinking because I like them or we have some type of respectable rapport that I don't suppose to address these matters and situations at hand. because. We supposed to be cool. Okay, I'm going to address it in a respectable manner and everything, but you still out of pocket. So now I don't get my tickets because I called you out on something that you shouldn't have done as a man. You a dirty dude, bro. I'm telling you, man. You a dirty dude. That ain't cool. That ain't cool, bro. Why? Listen, man. That ain't cool. I'm one of the first ones to buy your... 725 album before anybody started buying it. Did you know that? Did you know I bought it first before anyone started buying it? Did you know that, brother? And and you got you gave me a copyright strike on my channel when you gave me the permission to do the review on it. I didn't have to like the whole album, sir. I didn't have to like the whole album. Yes, you did. Yes, you did have to like the whole album. I went into the studio on that whole album. I had like 14 bangers. Me and Mozzie, me and Bill the Butcher, me and what dude name? The one who lost his voice. The one who used to be with Jay-Z and them. What's his name? Ben Benny Siegel. You got mad because I wouldn't put rock or nobody in battle rap on my album. So what? That's why I went number three on... What was that? I tune in the whole country. See, I can't wait to see you, Malachi. I'm going to hit you from Durant Ranch. Step with the 30. Crossover in Jersey. <laughs> Brother, give me my two tickets. Shut, and stop all that screaming and hollering in the battle. <laughs> I'm just giving you pointers. All that screaming and hollering. Like, like, he be doing that. <laughs> Get out of here. Come in. Blast with the 30. Step over. Over here in Jersey. Neighborhood. See, switch when 
I move. Duck when he shoot. <laughs> no, man. No. And I had these headphones on, watching them battle. You stop screaming in my damn ear. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judge when it, and my question is yours. Listen. Stop inviting that white man to suck your cock. What's wrong with you, brother? You out of pocket. Don't you know not too long ago we just got out of slavery? You trying to put us back in slavery? You trying to put us back in slavery? Telling that white man to suck your cock? What if his ancestors hear about that? <laughs> what if his ancestors hear about what you saying to their great, 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 Great great grandson. <laughs> what? <laughs> what if they hear about that? He gonna get us all in trouble. <laughs> Stop inviting them white folks to suck your cock. <laughs> we bad enough they won't give us no jobs. We we looking for jobs. <laughs> Making it hard out here for us, brother. <clears throat> he be playing my music and everything in his club. And you trying to invite that man to polish your knob. Now what happens he don't want to play none of our music no more because of you? <laughs> what what stop trying to mess it up for us all? What is the may the mayhem tournament? What's the mayhem tournament? From what I hear, they saying you put some, you rap on a beat or something. Is that true? Send me the link to it and give me my two tickets. Give me my two tickets you promised to the Lux and Surf Battle. And this your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment, that's a question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth. <laughs>